So here we are again. My render is just completed. As you can see here, result rendering completed. And I can open that file there if I want to for information. I've never opened that file. Up. Maybe it is useful, but I've never used it. Okay, so I'm going to close my script editor now. And in this step, we're going to talk about how you preview your animation. So as I'm sure you've noticed, we've rendered out a bunch of frames, which is still images. Uh, and you're thinking, why haven't we rendered to video? And I'll tell you why that is the case. We've not rendered to video because if you're doing a really big scene, let's say you're doing 3,000 frames, rendering can fail sometimes. And if it fails on any of those frames, you lose the entire, the entire file, the entire video file. It becomes corrupt. It's unusable. With frames, however, if it fails on frame 2091, then the only frame that you lose is usually 2091. You delete that one and you start your next render from 2091. So you don't lose as much time. Rendering can be a really, really lengthy process. And you want to make sure that you use that time as well as possible. So it is much more efficient to render to frames than it is to video. But then you've got the problem of how do I view these frames. So let's have a look at that. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to search for an application that is it comes with Maya. It's installed with it. It's called FCheck. And I'm guessing it stands for Frame Check, which is a good name because that's exactly what it's for. So I'm going to open this up and it looks like an application that belongs on Windows 95. Look how ugly is that? Really ugly. Um, Windows version 6.2. I don't think it is file. It's Windows 8. Okay. So now we're going to open that animation sequence. So we'll do that by clicking on file. Now there are two options, open image or open animation. If you click on open image, it's not going to play as an animation. I would hope that's obvious, but I'll say it. So if you want to open animation, click on open animation. There we go. So open animation, and then we've got to navigate to where we've saved those images. So into the images folder. And to get it to play, just click on frame one and click on open. And what it will do is then preview those 10 frames on the loop. And what that tells me is a few things. First of all, that it's rendered the right camera. Second of all, that there's a little render artifact there that might need investigating. Well, just those two things, really, but I'm quite happy with it. So I'm now happy to render out the full sequence. So let's go back in, change those settings, and get the entire sequence rendered. So close that into Maya, into the render settings window, and the only thing we need to change is the start and end frames. So you might be tempted to set the start frame, leave it at 1, and just set the end frame to 200. But why on earth would you want to waste your time that you've already put into rendering? We've already got the first 10 frames, so let's make the start frame frame 11. See? Thinking, mate. Thinking. Okay, so we can close that, and then we'll render out the rest of the animation. So we're going to go to Render, Batch Render, and Maya will now render the rest of the animation out. Okay, we're basically done with this tutorial now, but as a bonus, because I know not everybody has the software to convert rendered frames into video, in the next step, I will show you how to render to video if you've got no option, uh, and then we'll wrap things up.